Ladies and gentlemen, we are starting a new unit in math, and that is geometry, or the study of shapes. Before we can really get started, though, we're going to use today's lesson to talk about the vocabulary, or the specific words we use in geometry, and what they mean. That way, we can be much more effective and accurate when we're describing different shapes and parts of geometry. Now, our first vocabulary word is line. Now, I know what you're thinking. Mrs. Brown, I know what a line is. Do you though? Can you describe what makes the shapes on this side lines and the shapes on this side not lines? The difference when we talk about lines in geometry is that lines are perfectly straight and technically they go on to eternity unless you are talking about a section of the line. So the ones on this side are lines because they are, as best as I could draw them, perfectly straight. The ones on this side are not lines because they're not straight, some of them are curved, or they're straight and then they bend. So these are interesting, but they're not lines. Let's build on that concept of lines to talk about parallel lines. Now the lines on this side are parallel. The lines on this side are not parallel. What's the difference? What makes these ones parallel and these ones not parallel? Well, the difference between parallel lines and not parallel lines is that two parallel lines are always the same distance apart from each other. If they're two inches apart here, they're going to be two inches apart down here. And if they go on forever, they will never, ever, ever, ever cross. They'll never intersect. The ones on these ones are not parallel lines because either they are crossing or they would cross if they got longer. So parallel, same distance apart every time, not parallel, different distance apart at different points on the lines. Now sometimes lines do cross or intersect. When two lines cross or intersect, the point where they touch is called the vertex, and the area in between the two is called the angle. We can measure those angles, and they even have specific names. Now, if you look on this side, you will see those are all examples of right angles. These ones aren't right angles. So again, notice, what's the difference? You will probably figure out the difference if I tell you that the other name for a right angle is a square angle. Think about what a square looks like, how all of those angles look like the corner of a piece of paper or the corner of a square. If the angle looks like you could fit a piece of paper in there, it's a right angle or a square angle. If it's smaller or greater than that, it's not a right angle. If it's smaller, it's actually called an acute angle angle, and if it's larger, it's an obtuse angle. But for today, you just need to worry about the right angles. When you start to put lines and angles together, you get shapes, but there's specific kinds of shapes that are called polygons. Now, look at the two different sides here and see if you can figure out what makes something a polygon versus not a polygon. The hint I'll give you is that two things have to be true for a shape to be considered a polygon. Do you think you have it? Here are the two things that it needs. First of all, a polygon has to be made completely of lines, straight lines. So if you look over here, you'll see that the blue shape and the gold shape have curves. Those aren't lines and that's why they're not polygons. The other things that polygons have to be is closed. In other words, the lines have to connect all the way around. That's why the pink shape and the silver shape are not polygons. They're made of straight lines, but they're open. They're not completely closed. So those are some of the words we're gonna to use to talk about different shapes or polygons in geometry, and we're going to practice them today so that when you talk about shapes in geometry, you can use the right terms and everybody knows 
what everybody else is talking about. Good luck.